Three, two, one, go. This video talks about the is going to go over the cochlear multi mic. So if you have a, a multi mic, you'll also have a receiver or one of these three um, transmitters. How this works is you're going to turn on the button at the top, so the green light turns on. Okay, and it'll flash green then. When it turns on, there's little lights here. Um, once we attach the receiver to the bottom, the light will then detect that it's on the prong. So just make sure that it, that it stays on that prong, okay? Um, and then you're ready to go. This should be worn by the, the teacher. This is gonna attach to um, a transmitter. So the teacher may just clip this on their lanyard, okay? So once you have this set up, you're gonna turn on your like in the other videos, you're going to turn on your device. You're going to have this piece next to it. Hit connect, and we're connected. So we're ready to go on this end. Now we need to tell the student's device that it needs to look for this multi-mic. If they have a hearing aid, um, there's going to be a button on here, and you're going to hold that button down until you hear a trill. It'll go, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then that's telling it's into the multi-mic program, and then should pick up everything from here. That is if you have a hearing aid. If you have a student that has a uh, cochlear Baja, the button is at the top. So you're gonna do that same thing. You're gonna press that button down until you hear doo -doo -doo -doo. That sends it into that program and then you should be able to hear, okay? So that is if you're using this one, this, this device. If you have, it's gonna be the same exact process of this all will not change as well as pressing the buttons. But if you have this device, you're going to, this is the Roger and Spyro. Uh, you're going to hit connect when it turns on here. It says it's connected. Same thing. If you're wearing it, this will be a little different. This can just be worn anywhere. It can be set on a desk. It doesn't have to be on the teacher. It just might be easier just so it doesn't get lost. Um, the student can even wear it too, but depending on the age, and usually if they have all these, we're dealing with uh, preschool, kindergartner, uh, we don't really want them to wear it because they could get it lost. So um, if you're wearing it with the belt clip, you'll just have to put it somewhere on you um, or on the, de the desk as long as you don't get too far away. Um, or a lanyard, you could hook it like I did onto this one. Um, one thing to keep in mind um, is, and, and there's a printout here for you too, is if you are away from it for five minutes, so if there's no uh, signal for five minutes going from this device to this, um, the hearing aid or the Baja will um, get out of that multi-mic program. So recess, lunch, when you're away from it. So what you'll need to do, you won't need to do anything else with this part, but when the student comes back to the setting, you will need to tell their hearing device to go back into the multi-mic program by pressing that button until you hear the trill again. Same thing on pressing that button on the um, Baja if they have that device. Um, just telling that device to go back to read these. You shouldn't need to reconnect, but even if you have to, um, to be sure you can hit that connect button as long as you're right next to it. But the main thing is that you tell these devices to go back to that program if you've been away from all the de these devices for more than five minutes. Um, if you have, the only other transmitter if you have is a Zoom link with this one. You just turn it on just like the other video shows, turn it on. Um, you're still having the piece attached here and it should be all ready to go as long as they're on the same frequency, which I have everything set up that way if you do have this device that they are on the same frequency, but the same process. Hold this button down until you hear a trill. If they have a Baja, you're going to hold that button down if they have a, um, a, until you hear the trill. So just depending on what the, the student has. Um, to go ahead and then shut it off, you just press that button at the top. It'll go red, and now it is off. Um, one other thing charging. You'll have two chargers, so you'll be charging your transmitter, but you also need to charge this at the end of the day. This will not last, um, uh, it'll last just maybe six to seven hours, so make sure you charge it when you're not using it. Um, the other thing that, yeah, uh, so that's the main thing, is just to make sure that you uh, have it fully charged and ready to go. Okay, and this can stay on, you don't even, you know, once you put it on, it can stay. Since it's charging on the side, there's no reason to, to remove that since this will stay at school. Um, if you have a student that has their own device, you'll know 
you'll have a re I'll, you'll know from my video of saying that you have um, this device, but it may be owned by the student. Then you will need to remove this piece if they're taking this home. If they're leaving their personal one at school, it can stay attached. You just have to make sure it's removed by the end of, end of the year. Um, so it kind of just depends. If you have any questions of whether or not, um, you know, on this device, I am more than happy to come out and do an individual uh, uh, training for you. Uh, but try to follow the directions here and see if that helps. If not, I'm more than happy to come out and help you. Um, and once again, that is the Cochlear Multi-Mic.